what I spoke about today was how we could change. Everyone can do something small to start off with to make our sets a greener place and how to implement change throughout the production process, the pre-production process, the art direction, um, shooting and uh, catering and transportation. And how do, how do we get uh, everyone else on board on our um, goal to have a greener set and to be more environmentally sustainable in filmmaking. Some of these things are things we're already doing at home, so what we can do them on set, what gives us the right to not do them at work. Um, so I really believe that a lot of this begins with education and educating the crews and explaining why we're doing this and how it's going to help the planet and what it's going to reduce on our film sets. We're always going to be met with a lot of cynics and a lot of criticism, oh, it's more expensive, or oh, this takes too much time, and film set film making is very transitory, and it's very quick paced, and everything is now, and people just want to make the easy choice. Um, but we just need to start becoming aware of our choices, and what we're doing, and how that affects everything down the line. Our, our planet, our health, um, and the environment. So implementing change on our own productions and what is the solution to that? Um, the first is to educate and I think I believe that change starts with education and educating the people around us on what we're trying to do here and why we're trying to do it. Um, the second is empowering so empower the people around you to make those uh, correct choices and make it easy for them and let them know that feedback is welcome. Uh, the third is to explore and exploring other ideas, other solutions, because this is all just creative problem solving. So if we and, and explore other options, we might find something that we didn't think of ourselves that may be an even better idea. Um, the fourth is to engage and making it a collaboration and a, a, a unit effort rather than a didactic and dictatorial type of thing because you don't want people to resent you for forcing a change on them. You want to you want to engage them. And then enrolling is the last one. You want to make you want to get everyone on board and that's the most important thing. To get everyone on board and get everybody excited about the changes that we're going to make on the set. Well, I think it's a it's a shift in mindset really is what you need to do. So um, to get excited, is you, everyone wants to feel involved. And everybody likes a challenge. I mean, that's kind of what filmmaking is. It's like, well, here's a challenge. How are we going to solve it? And so kind of making it a group dynamic rather than just an in individual choice, I think, gets people excited about it. And also giving them metrics about, okay, well, if, we don't, if you don't use this water bottle, not only are we going to save... $500 on the film set, but we're also saving 100 pounds of trash out of the landfill, or 10,000 years off the life of a recycled bottle. So I think that's kind of how you get people excited. Figuring out how to get them on board by letting them know that being green doesn't mean spending a lot of money, and figuring out creative solutions to how it doesn't cost more and how it actually saves them money by reducing, by recycling, and by reusing. There's small changes and then there's big changes. And the small changes obviously are already happening today with the email and sending call sheets by email and production books on the internet and locations um, scouting is all now done virtually. And trying to change things that we once did um, on paper onto online. Um, bigger things where you save a lot of money is things like n not shooting on film anymore. Um, you can save up to $5,000 in five days by not shooting on film and by shooting digitally. And that's, that's a huge investment. And it also, film is laden with chemicals. So it's not only good for the pocket, but it's also good for the environment. Um, there are also other kind of systematic changes that we need to look at is like, how do we put payroll online and ha instead of using triplicates? How do we do electronic POs instead of using triplicates? And kind of getting all the production companies together and kind of coming to a, a, you know, a um, one conclusion for everybody. 
Um, other things that we can do is the art department and, and creating a plan for what happens to the sets after we're finished after we're finished shooting because usually they just go in the landfill and there's so many other options um, for those sets like donating to schools or local community theaters and um, recycling the wood um, using organic materials that's better for you better for the environment all of those kind of things um, renting whenever possible renting props renting wardrobe using green dry cleaners, um, using organic makeup. I mean, every department has something that they too can do. Using Kino Flows instead of tungstens and HMIs, they draw less power. Uh, using LED lights, you know, just kind of looking at what the choices are, looking at what we've been doing, and then looking at what we can do and see where we can make adjustments. Well, I've had some success. <laughs> Uh, we're met with a lot, a lot of times we're met with a lot of resistance because people just are resistant to change in these type of situations. But um, on my sets I have reduced, uh, I've reduced water bottles to almost nothing. So ecologically we're keeping a lot of recycled plastic out of landfills and out of recycling plants and using, um, by using the aluminum water bottles um, we've reduced costs and, and um, harm to the environment. Um, by using uh, hybrid technology for transportation, um, we've saved on fuel. Um, by, by having a no idling policy for trucks and 15 passenger vans, we, we save on um, CO2 emissions and we save on fuel. Um, by keeping sets out of landfill, I, I, I don't know the quantity quantifies, but we've had some success and there's a, an amazing um, company in New York City called Film Biz Recycling that that's all they do is they take your sets, they take your props and they figure out what to do with it and then they will re-rent it to other production companies. To try and inspire people I would, you know, or get them on board with doing a green film production is that when you're on set just look around and look at all the waste that we use on film sets. Film sets are incredibly wasteful and we can really do a lot to reduce what we, what all the trash and all, all of the waste that we create. Um, and it's kind of just the power of one. And one person can make a difference and one person can be a drop in the bucket and if you get other people on board with you, everyone else can do just a little something. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a huge change. We can build up to that kind of stuff. But even if you do one little thing for one day, and then you keep doing that and make it a habit, then we're all doing something to help and create a, a better tomorrow and a greener set.